Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Gaming. This is another first impressions here on the channel. I'm the Hand of the King and this is Sanity of Morris, a psychological horror game where I'm pretty sure you play as a detective and, you know, detect things. So let's hop on into it. This is releasing, uh, I think late March 23rd, but we're getting a sneak peek at it. It's a five hour drive. Let's take a look. You were never close. All right. I never lived up to any of his expectations. The voice life. acting, that's nice. Not out of spite or anything, but because I'm just not like him. I'm relating with the main character. First, I didn't move to Green Lake with him. Then I dropped out of university to try to become a cop. Mm hmm. Me I too. At that as well. Oh. 27. Still not close to the brilliant career he had. So we hardly talk at all. Now he asks me to come over? Leaving me a confusing voicemail that makes no sense at all. Good bees finally lost it? Early onset dementia? Maybe. <sighs> Probably couldn't handle the retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, Dad. It's a pretty nice car. Alright, that's our background. I haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. Just kidding, here's some more. I know Green Lake is in the middle of nowhere, but. I think there'd be some traffic coming up the road. Driving a little quick there, if you don't mind me uh, saying, he buddy. Nearly unhinged in his voicemail. He better not be sick or something. I mean, he's a bit of a bastard, but he is my dad. Uh, so welcome to, to Green Lake. Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. All right. this guy come from? We got a rogue UPS driver. Does he think he's ah! Oh my gosh. Hey, what, the, what the fuck? Are, are, you, are you trying to kill me? Shit! Hey, drive defensively, folks. Shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Oh my god. Left mouse button. Ah! 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 I did it. Ah! I saved my own life. I hope. Hold W. Are we crawling out of a? I have to get out of here. The car. I got a flashlight somewhere. Maybe. All right. Here we go. Flashlight. Now we can start to look around. I'm not controlling this though, so it's not me looking around. All right. They're coming but after me. To zoom. <coughs> okay. Better hide. Turn off the flashlight. Toggle the flashlight. Got it. Control to crouch makes sense. Still not 100% sure where we are, but hey, after a crash, you would be disoriented. I think we're in a ditch. The target has crashed his car. We'll confirm the death of Morris's son. Situation control team out. Oh my gosh. Why me? Who are they? Questions for later. Shit, the car's a loss. Move your ass, John. Alright, John, here we go. We gotta move. Probably not near the car, but we're gonna do it anyway. Where are we going? I don't know. This way. Makes sense. I don't. Left shift to run. No worries. God, my lungs are burning. I'm glad those guys don't care about the flashlight now. Am I? My father's house. Flowers. <laughs> Here's a path. I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. All right, the run speed of a. Oh, just kidding. Here's cutscene. All right, everybody, calm down. Let's see what happens next. Here comes the van again. Uh, where, where can I go? Run! The order is in. Shoot the target. Maybe, repeat, maybe you should have turned your flashlight off. Mash oh, no. W. God. God, Does that mean hit it repeatedly? Because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, 
hide the flashlight. They've got night vision, but they couldn't see me in the tree. I think I think, I think they need to hire some other uh, people for that job. All right, I think we're heading over to this masks? red facility. A military outfit I've never seen before. Oh, God, I can't handle this. Even my vision's going all foggy. This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I've got to avoid a panic. Staying in the light, it only get worse. Okay. Good thing I brought that flashlight. Yeah. Good thing we got the flashlight. Is this guy voiced by Ryan Reynolds? It's starting to sound like him, but I might be going crazy. All right, here's another uh... research institute. <coughs> Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the institute. His voicemail. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. Okay. Let's, let's go. There's a observatory up there. That might be interesting later on. But for now, we got to get to the house of our estranged and potentially dead father. Go this way, or we'll see another little cutscene. Hank's house. Something's off. Okay, we got a Lights shack off. here. Something happened here. This is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? Maybe he's in the mailbox. I'll write down all the clues and facts I find in my journal. Okay. To help me keep a clear head and solve problems. That's, that makes sense. Let's see if I can construct a timeline of events. Alright, timeline. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. I should be on the lookout for files, pictures, audio tapes, things like that. So our timeline might go back 60 years. That's a bold assumption. But let's listen to the voicemail. Oh, shit. Oh, my voicemail. gosh. Um, Jonathan, this is Hank. I hope this reaches your phone. You can't rely on secure telephone connections anymore these days. Now listen, you must visit me. I need to take you fishing in the lake. For some big fish. I know just the spot. It might be in the dark at first, but there's some amazing stuff to see there. It had me quite captivated these past two weeks. I've got some nice pictures of it I want to show to you. Let me think. Yes, when you come to the house, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? You'll need to get into the groove of things. Listen to some old classics. After which I'll have you do a number of things. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. Mm -hmm. You'll see there's more to Green Lake than you first thought. Mm -hmm. I haven't forgotten you're afraid of the night. So, make sure you bring a flashlight with you. I have to go now. I've guessed... Alright, well, if I was a, a government organization we'll listening to this, because I probably side. could, Drive safely. the hidden clues are so obvious that I would kill both these people immediately. I'm just going to say that. Come on, Hank. Anyway. So that's the timeline. We got the journal. There's something going on at the lake. There's a hidden uh, mechanism at the hearth. Got it. With the, some record player. Got it. Alright. Hit the X. Come on, Jonathan. Where's that house? Okay. Here's the... Uh, Look at all these letters. Mailbox. The Hank emptied this box. Well, he's probably dead, so... Or in hiding. Okay. Looks like with E we can zoom the uh, flashlight to a very specific spot. So that's nice. Alright, he's got quite a door set up here for a shack here in the woods. Um, I mean, with the windows and the. I mean, holy moly. Anyway. Take the door. That's bad. What happens it's just here? tape. You can undo it, Jonathan. Getting in this way. Whatever. Alright, here's a side window. Here's an RV. This old RV is still here. 
Does that mean he's around the house? Alright, there is sufficient lighting inside, it seems. Or is that just the flashlight? Oh yeah, it's just the flashlight. My bad. Alright, what's this? Doesn't matter. It doesn't light up red. Alright, we can't jump over the fence. Good job, Jonathan. Check in the back. Climb this? No, perfect. Alright. You know, if again, if I was a government agency hunting down this person who I know is related to a person, I would just be in this house since it's owned by his father. And I'd have a gun and I'd shoot him. But, you know, that's just me. Thanks, old canoe. Okay. Well, at least I know he's not out fishing. He's not out fishing. But something important is going on in the lake. Oh my, Jesus. Alright, we got a, uh... What you call sensor? Maybe Motion sensor. Key? Check under the gnome. gnome. Really, Hank? There's a key. Take it. A key. Must be the key to the kitchen. Good job. The key to the kingdom. All right. Did I grab it? Fits. Perfect. Anything inside. else over here? No. I don't like it. All right. Close the door. Don't close the door. Perfect. Leave it open. flashlight is starting to falter. It's very unfortunate. What's this? Plate. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my oh god. god. What was that? Breathe. You hate when plates turn into clown heads. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body. Alright. This banana might be a Cyclops. Oh my god. It's a knife. Got to keep saying, John. Got to keep saying. All right, we got to get out of here before the knife spoils. All right, what's in here? Torn photo. Part of the photograph with mama. Okay. Fridge. Seems excessive. Seems like a pretty chill lady. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, close that. All right. Anything else in the kitchen? Jar of pickles. That's obviously actually uh, a gun. Nope. This doesn't want to turn into anything. Jar of pickles. All right, cool. Salt shaker. That's actually this image is important. This image is important. What image? I found a key under the thing. All right, timeline. What's this? Well, there's a photo. 1990. Specific year, but that's okay. And nothing else. Too much going on. We did find a salt shaker that we don't find. Worthy of putting in the journal for it. Great. Alright, there's a door there we opened, or we could head in the living room. Did that clock just turn into a minotaur or something? Here's a monkey picture. It's very cute. Okay. I think my lack of attention to detail will do me well in this game. Uh, TV on the floor. It's pretty lazy of you, Hank. But that's okay. The couch. Let's see what else is going on. Here's a fuse in the fireplace. Fuse in the fireplace. Why? I'm writing this down too. Maybe all together, the things in my journal will start to make sense. Perfect. All right. There's the the gas thing. Uh oh, here's a jar of eyeballs. Oh my god! I'm not even sure what that was. I think it was a clown, but we saw him from the top, so it didn't get scary at all. All right, what's this? A magazine. Perfect. And a grandfather I clock. This clock, from when we still lived together as a family, 15 years ago. I could swear I saw it move just now. It, it might have moved. My God, it's moving right now. Every second, it's moving. Just kidding. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, well, this is the hearth. Apparently, something might have been special with one of the. Grooves. But then it sounded like he was talking about a record player. So who knows, actually. Nothing here. Okay, maybe we gotta explore more of the house. What the... Was that a statue that just was there and then not there? But we only saw the pedestal, so it wasn't scary. Alright, Fox Man. Oh, here's the record player. Big, small... Like the order what? Of a code. <clears throat> Big, small, biggest, smallest. Alright, when we find four things, it goes big, small, biggest, smallest. Got it. Huh? 
What are you saying? Hmm? I don't know. These documents hold important information. Alright, we picked up some documents. Let's see what it holds. It's an employee evaluation, 2006, employee number 7684, Hank Morris. He's great. Location is separate from the head office. He should stop bringing his work to home because he's a hermit. Here's a fishing rod. It's good to know those years were hard on him, too. Alright. That's a terrible sentiment. Can we listen to this anymore? Not particularly. Okay. What do we zoom in on it? Nope. Alright. Another door here. There's the front door. And here's a fishing rod. Didn't he mention something about fishing in the lake? I'm starting to wonder if he meant that literally. Uh, probably not. There's a basement that's gonna scare me for sure. There's the door to the kitchen we already opened. Here's the bathroom, which can contain a number of scary things. But so far, this one it doesn't even have a mirror. What the heck? So far, this one's pretty normal. All things considered. I don't know who that is. Uh oh, our flashlight's getting faulty. There's an upstairs as well. And there's that same picture, just bigger. So, get some original material if you ask me. Alright, so pretty spooky so far. Let's head... Up or down? Let's head down. And there's blood stains in the carpet and a cassette. A recorded tape. There's no carpet actually now that I think of it. Just blood stains. Alright. Paint cans for green paint. But I haven't seen any green walls. Unless the walls upstairs were green. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Basement, living room, kitchen, second floor, attic. So we have the fuse for the attic. Glad to have power again. This house is freaking me out. Okay. Come on, John. Time to find some clues. And let's listen to that tape. This is Hank Morris, December 2014. He's pissed. I'm pissed. I want to get something off my chest. All right. So, Barbara recently died. You know it's been nine years since I went to Greenlight. Marriage and still, she was a fine woman. All right, great let's just teacher. trouble, Doctor Reed. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. All right, does he still talk if we close this? No. Well, either way, there's something going on at work, and we need to figure out. Can we? T we can't take the wrench. That would be very useful. All right, this one particular can of paint is important for some reason, or it's not. Maybe we paint something later on once we get... Oh my gosh. There's a spider all along. I should have known. Lots of spiders on these shelves. Alright, this box cannot be opened. Alright. Let's head upstairs. Alright. We only fixed apparently the basement lights since uh, everything else still needs a flashlight. Here's four or five rooms up here. Let's check them out. All right, this looks like a child's room. Mom always said Dad left us behind. Sometimes I wonder if it was the other way around. Hello. Hello, what? Is this hello? Wait, it's six. If I look at these boxes at this angle, it looks like there's a number. A six. What if somebody came in here and kicked one of the boxes by accident? This entire code would be screwed from the beginning. It's a very, uh, very irresponsible person left that note. But hey, I guess we knew that from the beginning. Alright, this light doesn't work. There's some sounds going on. A bathroom. Another bathroom. Ugh, touching that. No mirror, but at least he has a... Something about crop circles. Crop circle note. Is he into that stuff? Jeez. Alright, he's got a shower. Radiator here. 
Doesn't pick up his towels. Good to note. Alright. Let's head in. What's that? Looks like smoky fog. Alright. Uh, okay, we got another room here. Some would call it an office, I would agree. Alright, what's behind the door? Nothing. Is this brick? I guess so. Is this house made out of wood? Anyway. It's about aliens. Why would my dad keep junk like this? Aliens. Alright. Nice computer monitor, octagon shaped. This image is important. This image is important. Let's check it out. I can't read that. Dad plays house here in Green Lake. You got the offer for a position at a company. Furious. Alright. So things weren't going well for anybody in this world, but hey. That's this world too, in real life, right? Just kidding. Alright. So this got knocked over. Is there a number on the other side of it? Not that I can tell. What's out here? This window. There's a alien crash landing. There's the RV. Here's some books. None of them are highlighted. Give it some time and space. Hilarious. Alright, let's check out the other rooms. Make sure nobody's hiding behind us. Keep hitting them. What was that? Alright, don't know. What's this? Alright, keypad. Let's save that for last. Probably need... What the heck was that? Rats? I don't even know. Okay. We got leaves on the wall. Pretty suspicious. Here's the picture. Oh. There's a number written there. Eight. So we got six and eight. And the code was what? Big, small, biggest, smallest? Or something like that. So we need two more numbers. And... This is not a number, but it's a great picture. Okay. It says nothing. Okay. There seems to be a porch to go out on. Here's three numbers. 959. Probably not important to the code, though. Alright. Let's see what's out here. Vines and a trash can. A recorded tape. And a recorded tape. Let's listen to part of it. You'll never guess what I just found. This guy's drunk all the time. No <laughs> offense, Tank Morris. You're drunk all the time. Today, me right, and observatory. the team were clearing the old storage room. 20 the years. Observatory to create some space. Finally got a new coffee station. Files. And it was about time we got Carter's Extraterrestrials. All right. So somebody's hiding something over at RNCS Industries. And we're going to get to the bottom of it after we find two more numbers. Potentially. Alright, these are some nice shoes, but we don't have time for that. What's that noise? Alright, who knows? So, what's the code here? I'm still missing something. We're still missing something. Found uh, the order. We found six and eight. I don't need power, four numbers, and the code order. Okay, well, we got power, I think, from the basement. Now we need to find two more numbers. We found these two upstairs, but I guess the other ones could be in other rooms. Now that we know what to look for, potentially. Alright, any numbers on here? No. It's okay, I'm having a great time. This game is pretty creepy, but not too scary. And uh, you, you kind of you want to figure out what's going on, right? Or at least I do. Let's see. This is actually a eyeball, ball, brain. Breathe, John. No numbers on Breathe. it though. There's that plate everybody was talking about earlier. And we're looking for another number. Potentially two. Well, the pickle jar never turned in anything. Maybe there's a number. We got to count the pickles. That's got to be one of the numbers. Let's say there's two pickles in there. That's my guess. Alright. And this had... Oh, the, the picture was in there. So we took care of that already. Uh-huh. 
Here's a fish with no particular number on him. Salt shaker that we don't need. What is that? What is here? Was I inside the lamp? I think I was right behind the lamp. Strange. Alright, is there a number on this magazine? I can't click it, so probably not. Here's a pillow. Okay, a grown man does not have that decorative pillow. I'm just going to call it right here, right now. That's BS. Sorry, realism has been shattered. Aliens? Fine. Grown man owning that decorative pillow? No. Sorry. Had to say it. Anyway, let's get back to the... What is this? Cooking Pro. Best recipes. What? Did we already pick that up and it wasn't an eyeball? You're just seeing. This guy's going crazy. Alright. One of these. We picked that up already. We gotta find the other numbers. Right? Okay. Nothing here. This isn't telling us numbers. Oh. Turn into a hand? It's okay. Strange. You're just seeing. Alright, this was the, what was the code? Big, small, biggest, smallest, biggie smalls. Alright, perfect. Let's see, he had a nice chair here to stare out the window. Alright, maybe he should have had some better hobbies there besides drinking, making voice recordings, and staring out of windows. Wow. Alright, okay, so there was actually nothing down here. Or I missed the numbers again. Who can say? Let's check up... No, we did upstairs. Let's check downstairs. I know we did that, but maybe there's another number hidden somewhere. In the in the paint. No? Okay. Do we have to change the fuses around? Is that a thing? Okay, we did something. We flicked on number... The second floor... Uh, apparently we should have done that before, I don't know. Oh, here's something. A screwdriver. A screwdriver? Better bring it along. It is a pretty specific uh, bit there at the end of it. But you know what? Maybe we're going to need it for something. Stabbing somebody who's threatening us. Alright, so I think I turned on the second floor. Let's put the flashlight down and head to the second floor. Perfect. Obviously some things are faulty, but that's okay. Alright, that was a six. Do we have to look at it from a different angle to get a better number? No. That's not a number. Nope, that's also not a number. Well, I'm stumped. But still enjoying it. Uh, but we'll probably call it there for the first impressions. Definitely check out... Uh, Sanity of Morris. If you're interested in exploring houses and potentially other places with just a flashlight and uh... what's this? oh we can pull the thing there's gotta be a number under here seven there you go it's the number seven okay so yeah check it out if you're interested in that for sure and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video please leave a dislike if you hated it that's fine but again thanks for watching thanks for being here check out our other first impressions for other recently released games and Try not to get too scared of eyeball eyes, hands, and uh, clown faces. Because you know what? They're every item in your home, and you just don't know it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. See you in the next video. And until then, have a great day.